Hi everyone, welcome back to Natural Nans. So for today's vlog, I think it's gonna be quite short. Um this week has been a funny one, honestly. I've been thinking I was watching another person's video and they were talking about how the the scale shouldn't be your gauge for weight loss and all that stuff right so maybe for, i should just film myself measuring myself and putting those measurements out there because my weight is already up there um and then like maybe with the weight stuff i will do a month to month weigh-in and with the measurements probably like a every six weeks or maybe also every month just so that we can see even though the weight may not be changing as fast as i wanted to my my measurements are changing because um when i do go back to the gym so uh we've been allowed to go back to the gym so i'm waiting now to just book i'm waiting to book <laughs> heading to book um a a spot because you can only book up to 50 spots and it's only like one hour a day so ugh, it sucks because i gym for like probably one and a half to two hours so you'll have to see about that um but yeah i'm excited to go back to the gym so in this video i'm just going to show you guys what i was doing to work out at home while i still was so maybe it could help those people who don't want to go back to the gym just yet you still feel comfortable gymming at home um so i'll show you that in my video and then also i have a recipe for you that i tried out and i really like and i'll show you that too um but let me know in the comments are measurements a good idea i mean i think they are i think they are um and also if you are on a weight loss journey let me know in the comments how yours is going and how you are measuring your progress is it fitness is it measurements is it weight loss let me know but yeah i will i'll see you guys in the next video but you guys will see me later on in this one okay so let's get into this food we're starting off with some bacon bits and i've just been frying this in a little bit of olive oil you honestly don't need a lot because bacon has its own fat so as it's cooking that will render out but what you do want is you want to cook this bacon and you want to make sure that it gets to the point of it being slightly crispy but definitely cooked because after this point not a lot of frying is going to be happening in the previous clip i did add the garlic to the bacon to fry with it and then we're going to be adding broccoli and broccoli is the star of the show this is what made this dish a win for me because i've been trying to get back into eating vegetables but it's not that easy but here you're getting a lot of vegetables and it actually tastes really good After adding the broccoli, we're going to add a little bit of water and then put a lid on it to allow it to steam. How amazing does that look? You almost forget that there's bacon under there. So we have our protein, we have our vegetables, now it's time to add our fat. And in this meal, our fat is going to be cream. Now what's left is to add some spices. This Cajun seasoning is the best. Um, from Woolworths, I add it because of the heat that it adds. You don't need to add salt, just double check if you need salt in yours, but bacon does naturally have salt, so please be careful. There's nothing wrong with being generous with your seasoning, don't forget that. 
and this is the final meal I just like to let the cream reduce a bit more because I'm just going to be eating it as is. If you're not keto, you can always add pasta. This would be great as a pasta sauce. You can add rice. You can use it with any carb you want for those of you who aren't keto. But for those of us who are, it's perfect like this, just as it is. Now I'm going to show you my at home exercises. discrimination this world so keep your hands off my cheeks let me study how you ride the beat you big free skinny slim women got the toe within them you can them lift them bend them give them something to remember hell out timber when you fall through the chop shop take a deep breath and exhale your ex-girlfriend boyfriend was boring as hell well let me listen to the story you tell and we can make moves like a person in jail on a low low
relaxing. How cast is everlasting. Not clashing, not at all. But see, my nigga went to do a little acting. Now that's for anyone asking. Give me one pass em. Drip, drip, drop. There it goes an orgasm. Now you coming out the side of your face. We tapping right into your memory bank. Thanks. So click at the ticket. Let's see your seatbelt fasten. Trunk rattling like two midgets in the back seat. Wrestling. Speaker box vibrate the tag. Make it sound like aluminum cans in a bag. But I know y'all wanted that 808. Can you feel that BASS bass? But I know y'all wanted that 808. Can you feel that BASS bass? Discrimination is for all. So keep your hands off my cheeks. Let me study how you ride the beat. You big freak. Skinny slim women got the toe within them. You can them, lift them, bend them, give them something to remember. Hell out timber when you fall through the chop shop. Take a deep breath and exhale. Your ex-girlfriend, boyfriend was boring as hell. Well, let me listen to the story you tell. And we can make moves like a person in jail. On a low, low. And how cast is everlasting, not clashing, not at all. But see, my went to do a little acting. Now that's for anyone asking. Give me one pass, some drip, drip, drop. There it goes in there. 